What is up you guys? It is Katya Volks. Welcome back to my channel. Ah, you guys, it is one week from the time I stepped on stage for my new, for my first NPC bikini competition. If you are new to my channel, for some reason this is the first video you've clicked on. Hi, my name is Katya. I just competed last week in my first NPC bikini competition and it was the best experience ever. I couldn't be happier, more proud of myself for accomplishing something to me as being so grand, big, however you want to describe it. And so this is going to be a semi short, sweet, you know, video, just kind of reflection and anticipation for what's to come in the future. And also just like on this channel, what I plan on doing. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and join me in this awesome journey to grow. But yes, just to reflect on it, you guys, I'm still over the moon about it. I'm still like, just can't stop smiling about the whole experience, how amazing it was. Like, would I have liked to get first place? Sure. Am I upset that I did it? Not at all. I stepped on stage. That is an accomplishment in and of itself. The years I've told myself I would compete and now finally doing it. It's just, I, I couldn't be happier. But now seeing myself at that low body fat and seeing really not as big as I anticipated myself to be, I am just as excited to go into this growth season. Like if you have been following me for the last few years, Gosh, I have pretty much, I feel like been going through almost a tiny cut throughout the years. Like at my most, back in college, I was weighing around 140 pounds. And then on stage, I was weighing 116 pounds. So all these years, I've just been focusing on like slowly, slowly, slowly cutting down while trying to build as much as I can, which obviously you can't optimize muscle growth when you're in such a deficit it's best to be at maintenance or a little bit above maintenance. Um, so now that I'm done with prep, the goal is to build. So I'm now, I well, we've upped my calories a bit. So whereas when I was cutting, I was eating around 1500 calories. I'm now eating around 1800, 18, 1850 calories. And some people will be like, that's not that much. You should have jumped higher again we're trying to do this carefully and well, where we don't want to put on too much body fat because that's only going to make the cut even harder in the future. Sure, I'm going to recomp and I am going to gain body fat, which I'm totally cool with. I'm, I'm, in, I'm excited actually to watch the scale number go up. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to go back up all the way to 140. That would be way too much for me. But to stay gosh, maybe no more than 130, I think is going to be a happy medium for me in keeping a good composition, but giving my body the ability to actually put on muscle. So that is the plan. So regarding next competition, I'm honestly not anticipating to step back on stage until next year, but like earlier next year. And I want to do it right in making sure when I pick a date for a competition, we're gonna do, you know, a 12 week prep, you know, something proper where I pick the date far out in advance that we can really dial it down and, you know, get it in the mindset of what are we aiming to do? And obviously next show, now knowing what I'm going up against, I want that first place, I crave it, you know? And, but again, if that were not to happen, you know, I, whoever gets first place, I bet they deserve it, you know, just as much. So I'm just, I'm just in good spirits about all of this. Like I, I have that competitive spirit about it. I, I want to better myself, you know, and, and come with the best package possible, especially when you kind of overhear things of how the sport can be kind of political and that it's all about who you know and who your coach is and stuff like that. That even gives me more of a drive too really want to bring the best package possible to like prove myself over those people where even though a known coach can be like hey check out my girls they're gonna be like yes but look at her physique you know it doesn't matter 
who she's been coached by, she looks great. And I, and I really aim for that to really like prove myself, you know, that I'm capable of it. And I know I'm capable of it. And I'm so excited to do that. But yes, where I thought maybe it would be possible to do a show in November of this year, I am gonna have an elected procedure um, in around August. And so knowing that that's gonna be occurring and I'm gonna have recovery time, I just wanna play it safe and just take this whole year to grow. I um, don't know if I wanna call it like an off season. I, I believe, you know, once you're in bodybuilding, it's always in season. This is just a maintenance phase where you're versus, a, or not a maintenance phase, sorry, a building phase versus a cutting phase. So it's just different phases, seasons. I mean, you can call it an off season or just a building season, whatever, I don't know, whatever the heck you wanna call it. All I'm saying is I'm not gonna be like slacking or anything, anything less. I am allowing myself more flexibility because like, for example, next month I do have some travel plans. There, There's just other things that are on my priority list. And then if you didn't know this about me, you know, I have my degree in accounting and I am working towards my CPA and having to double check um, where I am with my credits. I'm, I should be soon eligible to begin studying for the CPA so that I could take the tests and all. And so that's also just a big career goal of mine in general. Y'all be thinking like, I wanna stick and do bodybuilding or maybe I'm a trainer on the side. It's like, no, I do work in accounting and I really wanna get my CPA as well. And to do both bodybuilding and CP, CPA work, like they both require 100%, you know? and I only have so much percentage of me to give. And so having had the time to just be worrying about taking classes and to fulfill the units needed for my CPA, I was able to focus a lot of time towards the bodybuilding. But once I switch over in gear to, you know, studying for the CPA, it's gonna be useful for me to have that flexibility with diets, nutrition, and training. Um, so that I could allocate more time to the studying for that because I definitely want to try to pass it the first time because it's not an easy test and it's not cheap at all. So those are the big plans. I don't know if the CPA, if I'm going to start studying for it this year. If I do start studying it for this year, uh, it, it, hopefully then I finish it by the end of this year so that I have the availability to compete early next year. Otherwise, we'll have to play it by ear. If I still have some more units I need to gather up before I sit for the CPA, then it is gonna be a lot more feasible for me to be able to compete again soon. But otherwise, I definitely wanna compete again, like next year if possible. And But I definitely wanna give my body time to rest, recover, and grow. So I'm excited. And of course, your girl's gonna still be coming out with more videos of reviews for supplements. We're gonna do some more workout footage because it's gonna definitely change up a bit. Uh, we can definitely do some food taste tests. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys want me to do. I can, I'm happy to do more recipe videos. They're a little more difficult to film, but um, I'll try to come out with more recipe videos for sure. But otherwise, definitely, we're gonna be jumping back onto that supplement review train because those are so fun for me to create and there's so many vegan products out there that I just want to try with you guys. So, are you guys ready for this? Oh, heck yes. Um, still so happy, still so happy. But anyways, like I said, this is short and sweet, just catching you guys up on what's going on with me. So yeah, before we move on to the next like supplement review video, just letting you know what are the plans for your girl. So th this journey ain't over. This journey ain't over for sure. And so if you want to come along with me and watch my muscles grow, then click that subscribe button. Give this video a nice big thumbs up. Again, comment below what you want to see next. And yeah, you can follow my Instagram, social medias, all that fun stuff see my journey through there because I definitely post more on my story. So, Ooh, so exciting. All right, I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.